Hello, pick breakers and sheep punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons. And today, I wanted to show you guys how to build a seven segment display. This is continuation on my series of redstone tutorials, and specifically, I'm building up to a tutorial on how to build a redstone clock. And so this, this is part of the background for that video. Um, let's, let's start here. So what I'm going to do is build the base here for it. It's going to be 7 wide and 11 tall. And I'm going to cheat by flying a little bit here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. Yeah, and so we're just going to make a frame here. It's going to be solid here. This is um, this kind of display I'm building is a seven segment, but it's special in that it, it actually uses retracting pistons to to mark how it is. Okay, each segment is going to be three um, it's gonna call them pixels, but three blocks wide. And so one, two, three. It's not right there. There we go. So one, two, three. And uh, a seven-segment display is basically the same kind of display you see on your, you know, crowd calculators and whatnot. Okay, let's make that there. You'll kind of recognize this when it's when it's all put together here. There we go. So you can see clearly the design that I'm that we're going for here. And, um, all right, so the next step here, let me get some more wool. Oh, there we go. Now, this, what I'm doing here is um, it's, not, it's not permanent fixture. This is just scaffolding for my next step. Oops, I don't want to do it right there. It's probably a little easier to do it in the middle. I don't know what I'm doing too much. <laughs> And I'll show you in a second why I'm doing this. It's pretty... There we go. All right, perfect. All right, so next thing you'll need is sticky pistons. And we're going to stick them right there. So they need to be facing the front of where you want to be able to view your display from. And they need to be enough back so that you can have a clay box sit all the way back as it's retracted. All right, so there we go. Another one, another one, and we're going to need these things behind all of these, um, all the spots here. And when I'm finished, I'm going to be removing that yellow cloth. There we go. Oh, yep, I sure did forget one, didn't I? There we go. And now we can just get rid of all this yellow cloth. Now you can do this exact same thing with um, any material you want, but a smooth material, a smooth light material works well. So either smooth stone or white wool seems to work the best. At least that's my uh, my opinion. Let's see, is that done? There we go. All right. So we have the basics done here. So you can see how the, the pistons are all sitting behind there. So let's put the cloth in now. Whoops, you know what? Dang it. <laughs> Why screw something up once when you can screw it up twice in a row? <laughs> Think. And there we go. So this is the on position for each of the segments. So the entire thing is on right now. So this is what an eight would look like. Okay, so now I need to I need to hook up redstone now to, to control these. And so that's pretty easy. For some of them it's really easy. Let me uh some more stone here. How about that? Uh, stone. I prefer to use stone for this part just so that way it's not going to um, get too screwed up. There we go. 
So you can connect in like this with redstone. And then you can do the same thing here. And the same thing here. So those are the easy ones. These segments. So if you if you pow if it's if the block that you put the redstone on is at the same level as the piston, it will power that piston. However, if the block is, for instance, one lower like this, um, this will not power those pistons. You actually have to be coming. You have to be coming in um, straight like that to power it, or alternatively, you can use that to do it too. So either 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 method would work. Um, just for this, the purposes of this one, doing it like this is really easy. Okay, there we go. Let's see. These side ones are a bit tougher, but they're not too bad, and I'll show you why. I can think of how I want to do that. Okay, I think that'll do it. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. So like I said just a moment ago, you need to you have to come in at the right angle on this. So that's just there for I can uh, do a demonstration, make sure it works. So that's going to work right there. And there we go. And like I said, like we said before, since it's coming in straight, it'll power that one. And since this block is powered, it'll power that one. So this should power all of them. So we can test that real quick by using a redstone torch. Let's see how it did. Oh. Uh, apparently not so well. <laughs> hmm. What did I do to screw that up? Okay, let's try something a little different here. So that worked. I wonder why that worked and the other one didn't. Alright, so there we go. So that's the off position, so it completely disappears, and that's kind of like a, a A, I guess. <laughs> the seven, the seven segment's good for numbers, but it's it's not so good for letters. But you can kind of, uh, you can kind of fake most most uh, letters out of it. Oh, I have a instant message, so I'm going to take a break right here. Deal with that. I'll be right back. Well, okay, I guess it turns out Minecraft server is down, and someone wanted to know if it was down for me too. And it was! And <laughs> apparently I got on my server before it became a problem. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll take it. It's like free money. Okay, so right now we have a little bit of a problem. Not that big of an issue, but um, right now these are not going to be synchronized. This one's going to go a half you know, one tick sooner than these other ones. So we can fix that just by doing that. I think that'll still work. Let's make sure. Ta-da! Yep, we're still good. All right. So let's do basically the exact opposite on this side. Since I'm just winging it, I'm probably gonna <laughs> probably gonna screw it up. That's okay. I won't make it exactly the same, probably, but. Uh, well, I think I may have this time. There we go. Ta da! And let's make sure that works. Hey, look at that! It's like magic. Perfect. Okay, and since I'm going to cheat here, oops, let's do that. <laughs> Copy. <laughs> Paste. 
Ha ha! <laughs> you just call me a cheating bastard. Ha ha! Oh, you know, <laughs> cheaters never prosper, Justin. Okay, there we go. Now it works. And I'll just do the same thing on this side. Position one, position two. Copy. Paste. Oops. And in case you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm using a add-on called uh, World Edit. It's part of my server. You can get the exact same thing um, using single player commands, however. It has a version of World Edit built right into it. Okay, looks like we're in good shape on those. Let's see how that looks out here. <laughs> well, it works! <laughs> All right. Now we need to be able to do something useful with all these um, contact points we have now. So let's bring these down. Bring them down, down, down. And I'm not going to get into the memory unit just yet. That's going to be in a later episode. Because that's, that's, that itself is a complicated enough topic that it will take um, quite a while to discuss. I uh, stone. But I figured it would be helpful to have to actually have something to connect the memory in it to. There we go. There we go. Oops, I do have more stone, don't I? Oh yeah. And there. There she blows. Okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm way too excited about this. Oh yeah. Okay. Moving along. <laughs> My Randy Savage voice. Oh yeah. Snap it to a slim jam. Okay. I'll shut up now. No one wants to hear me do crazy impersonations of uh, wrestlers from the 1980s. <laughs> okay. We're probably going to need at least one of those. That's And since we tested it and it works from this here. Perfect. Let's just uh, leave that on for now since we know we've dealt with it. And um, we'll put that there. I'm pretty sure that'll power. Oops. Yeah, that power's just fine. Okay. The way redstone passes through these sometimes is a little weird. Okay. And my test. Let's see what happens. There we go. That works too. And that one's going to be easy. Sweet. Let's just turn that on for the sake of completeness. <laughs> The reason why I like using stone here is just because if there's ever a fire, this won't burn down. The, the actual display front is just really easy to fix. So there's no... This is just you put a huge square of cloth and it's fixed. So there's no need for that to be... No need to worry about that. But all of this all of this redstone stuff is the, is the time-consuming part of all of this. Let's, let's get rid of that. And put one of those there. Okay. Man, every time. Well, let's just do it like the other one. That works. Oh, it's even, man. It's even. Oh, there is one thing I forgot. There we go. Oh, one forgot. One left. So I got these side these side wings done. 
that's easy as pie. Just do the same thing. I'm just bringing these down because they end up being a lot easier to, to handle when they're on the ground like this. Because whatever we're going to attach it to is likely going to be on the ground. And a, um, instead of attaching it to torches, it's, it's usually pretty handy to, to attach it directly to it's like levers. But torches work for what we're doing right here. Okay. One more. I messed something up here. Oh, I did mess something up. Because if that torch is sitting right there, it's going to power this line whether we care or not. Whether we want it to be powered or not. So there we go. Each one of these torches, you can... Um, when you get to the point where you're going to use this display, you'll attach whatever you're trying to to, uh, to show right there. And so a good way to doing this is to actually number our displays. to, to uh, That way we can keep track of what goes where. So let me turn all of these off and I'll, I'll show you one one way of numbering it. If, um, if you're an electrical engineering student, I'm sure there's a right way of doing this. And... Uh, Someone actually commented in one of my other videos that they, there really is a right way of doing it. And that I, I probably didn't have it correct. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Okay, so we want, so let's say we want to do number four. All right, so let's, actually, now I think about it, let's just number that. So we go, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you know, I'm thinking about top from bottom, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's that's good. That's good. Oops, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about there. There we go. So right now we want top two, the middle, and that one on. Well, no, we want since we're talking about reverse here, we only want that one, that one, and the top. Okay. Nope, I wanted, uh, I think that was right. There we go, it's a four. Ta-da! All right, so that's all I want to show in this video. It's a simple redstone display, piston display. We call it a re retracting piston display. It's really simple. I think it's really effective. You can really see exactly what number is being try you're trying to display there. And I think it, uh, I think it even looks pretty slick, too. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave me a note in the, uh, in the comment field, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks, bye.